And now let's see the difference in size between these two videos. This is the original video and this is the video after the compression. As you can see, we have a big chunk of size removed. Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compress large video files without using quality in Windows 11. For this video, we're going to use a software called WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. It's an all-in-one video converter for Windows integrated with video compressor, downloader, and editor. Of course, you're going to have down links in the description below and you can get the free 90 days full version to see if it's useful for you. Now, let's begin. On my desktop, I have a video file, an unedited video file that I've recorded from a previous video. And as you can see, it has almost 1.5 gigabytes and it is a full HD video with 60 frames per second. In this video, we're going to try to compress this video file using WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. This is the software interface. So to start the compression process, we're just going to drag and drop the video to the main interface. And of course, now we're going to have an output profile where we can select a ton of different formats to compress or to convert our video to but i'm going to go into general profiles and then i'm just going to scroll down and select hev video this is a good format a recommended format if you want to compress a certain video file i'm just going to select it and then i'm going to click on ok now the section will pop up in the left side i'm just going to click on the settings icon and here i can play around with the settings so for example i'm just going to make the frame rate to 30 seconds of course if we want to compress the video we have to lose some features of the video so for example in this case i'm gonna give up the 60 frames per second and also if i want to highly compress the video i can also downscale the resolution to hd and also i can set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. so basically these are some advanced settings that you can do and also you have audio options where i'm not going to change anything and then i'm going to click on ok if you click on edit you're going to see that using this software you will also have the options to trim the video so if you want to just convert a part of the video just select like the short time and, and the end time enable the, the trim of course and you are good to go you have also crop and expand if you enable crop you can crop the video as you want and this is really intuitive and really easy to do you can also enable subtitles and you can adjust the audio volume in the general tab this will give you an audio gain that you can set from this slider and then i'm just gonna click on done in the left side make sure that near hardware accelerator you have selected intel nvidia and amd and also select use high quality engine and auto copy basically this will make the compression process much faster and at the destination folder i'm just going to click on browse and select desktop of course once we are good to go we just need to click on the run button and the compression and also the conversion process will start of course it will take up a few minutes or a few seconds depending on how long your video is or how big your video is but as you saw initially the video had 1.5 gigabytes and we're going to see how much we can compress it without losing any visible quality to the video after the conversion process is finished you will receive this message all jobs have been completed i'm just gonna click on ok and now let's see the difference in size between these two videos this is the original video and this is the video after the compression as you can see we have a big chunk of size removed but now let's also see the difference in quality for these two videos another thing that you have to notice that if you're converting to the hevc format you're gonna need a third-party software or something like VLC because Windows Media Player won't let you play videos like this. You will need to buy the codec from the Microsoft Store. Yeah, that's true, but we're going to use VLC, which is a completely free software. So I'm just going to open both of these videos with VLC. So as you can see, we have both of the videos here. This is the original file and this is the file after the conversion. As you can see, we have very small quality loss. Of course, we have some quality loss because we downscale and also we switched from 60 frames per second to 30 frames per second but in the end I think the software did a great job and of course it compressed the video file very well now for those of you who want to use the software you just need to note that different video types will be compressed differently so for example if you have a 4k video with nature or something like that with real life footage that will be harder to compress so the results won't be as visible as this one but of course the software does a great job and if you want to compress large video files you can use it to compress video files without losing quality of course when xhd video converter deluxe has a whole bunch of other features as i've said you can convert to a big list of 
of file formats and you can also convert photos which is really nice and you can also download videos from certain websites and I think this is a cool little software that you can try out for free if you access the link down below in the video's description. In the description down below you will also have a free license for 90 days that is provided by WinXHD Video Converter Deluxe so to use it just copy that license from the video description click on register enter the license code and then enter your email and then click on activate and you should be registered successfully then click on ok and you now have a license for this software to use its full functionality for free for 90 days and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day